We're continuing our long IFR cross-country flight, which we started with the first leg from Renton to Olympia. For the full series, check out the page on our website linked here or in the description. You could play along with us on your own in the sim or fly the real thing if you're nearby. We just taxied back to runway 35 at Olympia and requested our clearance to McMinnville. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, I have your clearance, advise ready to copy. Ready to copy 518 Foxtrot Tango. November 518 Foxtrot Tango cleared to McMinnville Airport, Yelm 5 departure, then is filed. Maintain 3000, expect 7010 minutes after departure. Seattle departure on 121.1, squawk 2511. Clear to McMinnville, Yelm 5 departure, then is filed. Maintain 3000, expect 7000. Departure on 121.1, squawk 2511, 518 Foxtrot Tango. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, read back correct. We're going to delete our last flight plan and enter our new one. The new route is in foreflight. Unfortunately, the Garmin 530 doesn't allow us to enter Victor Airways, so we need to put in each fix. There's a neat feature in foreflight that allows you to only display fixes where a turn is involved, so you don't have to put in each fix like we're doing here, but we've left that out of the video. The Yelm 5 departure involves a right turn to 064 degrees, so we bug that heading on our DG. The new squawk goes in the box too. We'll put tower active with our departure frequency on standby. Olympia Tower, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, shorter runway 35, ready for IFR departure. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, Olympia Tower, runway 35, cleared for takeoff. Runway 35, cleared for takeoff, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We're maintaining runway heading until 400 feet above departure end, about 600 MSL, then turning right to 064 degrees. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, contact departure, good day. Order to departure, 518 Foxtrot Tango. Seattle departure, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, 800 climbing 3000, Yelm 5 departure. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, Seattle departure, ident. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, radar contact, turn right, direct, Cetra, climb and maintain 7000. Right, direct, Cetra, climb and maintain 7000, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We're getting beat up pretty good here by the winds and the climb to our cruising altitude, but at least it's a tailwind so our ground speed will be favorable on the way down. Of course, we'll be paying a price for it on the way back to Renton after we land. We pass Cetra and get her hand off. November 8, Foxtrot Tango, contact Seattle Center on 124.2. 124.2, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We're outside the control area for Seattle's Dracon, and now Seattle's center, which controls all the overlying airspace, will be coordinating our flight in this area. Seattle center, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, 7000. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, Seattle center, Roger, Chehalis, altimeter 3009er. So we're gonna be with Seattle center for a good portion of this leg. This is our long leg down to Oregon, so we'll be considerably less stressed than the short leg across SeaTac into Olympia, but we should always be thinking ahead to the next move. When we get close, we'll start planning our arrival into McMinnville. We should get the weather at the destination, which is still showing winds from the north. After we cross the Columbia River into Oregon, we get another handoff. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, contact Portland Approach on 126.0. 126.0, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We're entering another Tracons area, this time around Portland International, a smaller Charlie airport. They'll be coordinating our arrival into McMinnville. We wanted the VOR approach, so we'll let ATC know that. Portland approach, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, 7000 with the weather at McMinnville. Request the VOR DME Bravo approach from Newburgh. Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, Portland approach, you can expect that. McMinnville altimeter 3009er. Since we can expect the approach, we can load it, choosing Newburgh as the transition point. Let's brief the approach. We're doing a VOR approach, so even though we have the GPS overlaid on it, we need to at least monitor the VOR, which we'll do on NAV 2, 117.4. We hit CDI to switch to VLOC mode. We'll set the OBS to the inbound course, 014 degrees. We're talking to approach already. The CTAF will be on 123.0, which we set on COM1 standby. Once cleared, we'll be flying to the Newburgh VOR. We fly outbound on the 194 radial from there, which is the feeder route to Bernie at 3,500. We're going to perform the hold in lieu of procedure turn at Bernie, descending to 2,700. It'll involve flying outbound for one minute, making a right turn around to 044 degrees, and intercepting the inbound course, a parallel entry. 
Once established on the approach course, we descend to 2400. Bernie, the 17 DME, will be identified using the GPS and is the final approach fix. We'll get configured from there and descend first to 1260, then, after hike soar, to the MDA of 840. The missed approach point is Mabes, where we'll start a climbing left turn to 4800 on a 180 heading, joining the 204 radial to Kogok and doing a parallel entry into the hold. If we land, we'll shuffle right of the approach course and join the extended center line for runway 35. The risks for this approach are that it involves a number of turns and altitude changes, is non-precision, and the approach course isn't aligned with the runway. Plenty of challenges. After passing Hogum, we get our approach clearance. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, you're nine miles from Newburgh, Cross Newburgh at or above 3,500, cleared VOR DME Bravo into McMinnville. Newburgh at or above 3,500, clear VOR DME Bravo approach, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We activate the approach on the GPS. Functionally, nothing changes as our flight plan already had us going to the VOR, but it's very important to activate it here so that the GPS doesn't continue us on our cleared route, which would take us direct to the airport after Newburgh, but instead will sequence us along the feeder route to Bernie after Newburgh on the approach now. So we descend to 3500, cross Newburgh, and join the feeder route. We stay at 3500 on the feeder route. When we pass Bernie, we start our course reversal. We can begin the descent to 2700. When we establish inbound, we can go to 2400 as well. Monitoring the VOR on Nav 2, we see that the needle should be centered when we're on the approach course. Our CFI cancels IFR for us. 518 Foxtrot Tango has field in sight, cancel IFR. November 8 Foster Tango, IFR cancellation received, squawk 1200, change to advisory frequency approved. Passing Bernie, we configure for the approach and descend. We make all appropriate calls on CTAF to let others know our intentions to make a full stop landing. Breaking off from the approach and entering final for 3-5, then setting down, we exit left and get set up for our home leg, which we'll pick up in the final video in this series. You can head over to the website now and watch that. Click the link here or in the description to go see the full flight series. See you there.